Hello crafty friends and welcome to this clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to make this You Are Amazing card for you using a very simple masking and blending technique with a bit of heat embossing thrown in for good measure. The first thing I did was take a panel of mixed media paper and pop it on my grip mat. And then I tore up some masking paper. This is very low tack sticky paper that you can stick on your project, use to mask off an area and then peel off again once you've done your inking or painting or stamping or what have you. And it's so low tack that it won't tear your paper, but it's also thick enough so that inks and things don't seep through to the masked area underneath. So, as I say, I tore some of this masking paper to create some torn edges and I stuck these on my panel to create a strip with torn edges either side that I could then blend some inks onto. And then I blended on some Catherine Pooler It's a Girl ink, which is a very pale pink. And I chose Catherine Pooler inks for this project because I wanted a translucent ink, something very light and almost glowy. I decided to use mixed media paper for my card panel because the Catherine Pooler inks blend beautifully on mixed media paper. You get a really smooth blend. So once I'd laid down that first colour, I lifted up my masking paper and tore a fresh edge which I then laid down beneath the coloured strip and then I moved the top strip of masking paper down so now I've got a whole new clean raggedy strip that I can ink on and the ink I'm applying here is do -si do which is a red orange, a very pale red orange. So it's analogous to the It's a Girl. They work really nicely together. Once I finished adding the do -si do I took the masking paper off, tore a fresh raggedy edge again and then just added one piece of masking paper to the very bottom of my card and blended on some Be Mine which is another lovely light pink. This is I think slightly more of a violet, it's a red violet. And I laid this colour down so that it went right to the bottom of the card. And this is the kind of darkest or strongest of the colours. I think it works well being the bottom colour. It brings the weight down to the bottom of the card. I wanted to add a strip of bling to this card though. So I tore, using my torn edge ruler this time, just for a bit of variation, some more masking paper and created another double raggedy edge strip overlapping one of the pink strips a bit and then I did a little experiment. I brushed some glycerin over the gap between the two bits of masking paper to lay down a raggedy strip of glycerin because glycerin is very similar to the sticky ink that you get in embossing pads and I thought I would use this as a way or try and use this as a way to get embossing powder to stick to card. It's just an experiment and it worked for the most part. So I took my glycerin paper, dipped it in my gold embossing powder, brushed off the excess, the bits that stuck where I didn't want it to go, and then I heated it with my heat tool. And what happened was the glycerin, which I'd put down quite thickly, bubbled and the gold embossing sort of floated around on the glycerin before it set and gave a really interesting look which I'm going to experiment with again so watch this space. Somewhere along the line I managed to get an inky fingerprint on one of my strips towards the right hand side of the card so instead of starting again I decided to embrace it and I spattered on some, I think it was Be Mine that I diluted with a bit of water so that it looked like part of the design. To finish off my card I decided to add a little white flower die cut which I put to the right hand side of the card over that spattered area so that's become the focal point. 
I glued that down, then I added some glossy accents on top to give that die cut a bit of dimension and a bit of shine. And then I added my sentiment, which says, you are amazing. And I just heat embossed that on a piece of card. I used mixed media paper again so that the color of the sentiment strip matched the panel. And that's all been stuck already on a card blank, a four by six ish inch card blank. And as a finishing touch, I decided to dot on a few little glossy accents, a bit like Nouveau Drops or Enamel Dots. And that's this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with the supplies that you have in your stash. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.